Okay, in the first part, we had this program calculate the total price or total bill. What we want to do is that we want to be able to apply discount to the total bill. And I'm asking you to create a function. This function receive the bill amount and calculate the discount based on the bill amount. We came up with this idea, with this formula. If the, idea, if the discount is between, is more than 5,000 dirham, then they will get 20%. Anywhere, anything between 3,000 and 5,000, they will get 15%. Anything under, below that, they will get 10%. All right? So how do we create a function that check this discount and return the values? To create a function, as you remember, what do we do to create a function? I usually like to create my functions at the beginning of my program. That way, if I use them later on, they're already defined. So I'm going to go in here and define a function. At the beginning, I will say define functions here. All right. I can type it. How do we define a function? A function is just like div, like that, and the name of the function. The name of the function that we're going to have is called calculate discount, like that. This function receives parameters, receive input. What does it receive? It receives the bill. All right? And I will do here, we will create a variable that calculate that hold the percentage, discount percentage. So I'm going to call it like this, percentage equal, or D, or whatever you want to call it, uh, equal what? Equal to zero to start with. All right? That is your value D, percentage. Okay? Now, in here, I need to, do, to calculate to do the checking. How do I do the checking? We say, apply a check discount kill me discount check she added the check it means what conditions i have to have an if statement what does my condition do we say if what if bill is greater than five thousand how much they will get they will get d or percentage equal what equal 20 percent which is 0 0.2 else if what if bill greater than or equal to 3000 because it's a range we use and because it's between two values, we use and. We say and bill is less than what or equal 5,000. So it's either less than or equal 5,000 or greater than or equal 3,000 between those two values. What, how much is my percentage? My percentage is 15%, which is 0 0.15. The last thing is else because if it's not this or this then the discount is how much percentage equal what equal 10 percent which is 0 0.1 okay now this this equation or these this conditions calculate the percentage not calculate it give you the percentage but to calculate the actual amount what do you do you multiply the percentage by the bill. So you can say like this, you can say uh, discount equal percentage times the bill that is actually being passed to me. This is my bill. This is what they sent me. And this is my bill. And at the end, what do we do? We say return bill or we return discount sorry so i repeat it again what we've done 
I have a function, this function called calculate discount, the name of it. It receives the bill amount. How much is your total bill? Then based on your bill amount, it checks. If the bill is more than 5,000, I'm gonna give you discount 20%. If the bill is between 3,000 and 5,000, I wanna give you 15%. Anything below that, you will get 10%. After you calculate the percentages, I need to calculate the actual discount. How do we calculate the actual discount? The actual discount is equal to the percentages multiplied by the bill. And then simply I return what? The discount. All right? That is the whole purpose of this function. All right? But there are many things that you are, we used here that actually putting things together. How to define a function. How do you receive input from to a function? How do you use conditions? How do you return value from, from a function? These are all important things. We've talked about them before, but I'm doing it again to put it all together. Now, how do we call this function? How do we call this function? After, at the end, after we calculate the price. This is my total, remember? This is my total. <coughs> I can calculate the discount by doing what? I can say discount, for example, or I can say discount amount, discount amount, equal to what? Equal the function that calculate the discount. What is the name of that function? What is it called? Calculate discount. And what do I, it requires input. What inputs do I give it? the total bill, this, right? So this is my total, like that, right? Now, the discount amount will have in it how much reduction I have, how much discount I have. I can print it out like this. I can say print, print, less discount, like this, less discount, and then, which is, what is the less discount, comma, discount amount, like that, right? So this will give you the total bill, this will give you the discount amount. The last thing we need to do is print out the final bill, final total, right? And I could do it like this. I can say like this, print, like this, like that. And I can say print, like this, final bill, final bill, equal what? Equal total minus discount amount, like that, okay? All right, let's test it, and I, after I test it, I'll give you a chance to do it, all right? So let's run it and see what happens. So if I enter 8x, 8x, Now, if I enter the quantity to be five, for example, what would be the percentage? The percentage should be 20%. If I hit enter, the total bill is how much? 5,500. The discount is 1,000, which is 20%. If you take 20% of this, it will be 1,100. And then you subtract the 1,000 from 100 from that bill and you will get final bill to be that amount. All right? Okay. Uh, I'll give you a chance to make sure that it works.